yes, you, you, my dear friend, allow Jesus to come into your life, amen, and transform it, amen, amen. Today, I want to speak to you from the book of Mark, chapter 1, from verse 21 to verse 28. Jesus enters into a city named Capernaum. And while he was there at the city, he enters into a synagogue. And a synagogue is like today's church. And while he was there, he was preaching from the scrolls of the prophets. And the Bible says that while he was preaching and teaching, that a man violently cried out. Because what was happening to him is that he was possessed by evil spirits or by demonic spirits. And as they heard Jesus preach and they heard him teach, the Bible says that they cried out from the man saying, why have you come to torment us? And Jesus immediately cast out the devils from the man and immediately he was set free. Now you see, when you have an encounter with Jesus, your life will never be the same again. On that day, that man may have just gone to church like normal. But when Jesus shows up, every shackle will be broken. Every chain over your life will be broken. Every stronghold will come down because there is nothing more powerful than the name of Jesus. Nothing more powerful than Jesus himself. I want you to understand today that there is no other greater than the Lord Jesus Christ. He has the power to set men free and today if you are in bondage if you are struggling with something if there is an addiction or a vice or a habit in your life if you're struggling with fear or anxiety or depression or discouragement if you're struggling with some kind of thing that is having you bound down and having your life miserable today i have good news for you that jesus christ has the power to set you free Jesus said in the word of God that all power was given unto him. And today, my friend, if you need deliverance in your life, if you need freedom, if you need chains to be broken, then Jesus has the power to do the impossible. You see, when you have an encounter with Jesus, blind eyes would open, deaf ears would suddenly hear, the dead would come back to life, sickness would disappear, disease would go, because when Jesus shows up, there is none that can stand up to him. There is no enemy, there is no force, there is no habit, there is no vice that can stand to Jesus. They all have to bow before him and so friend today just like that man when he went to the synagogue he had an encounter with Jesus he had an experience with Jesus uh, and he walked out of that church that synagogue that day free how many of you right now you're looking at me and you are saying I want to be free well friend if you want to be free Jesus is the answer the Bible said that Therefore, who the Son sets free is free indeed. When Jesus shows up in your life, when you allow Jesus to come into your life, my friend, he changes everything. I want you to know that in Jesus, um, that there is total freedom. In Jesus, there is liberty. In Jesus, you don't have to to bow to that habit anymore you don't have to succumb to that vice anymore in jesus you don't have to drink like that anymore you don't have to smoke like that anymore in jesus you can have a life turned around let me tell you no power is greater than jesus no opia no witchcraft no necromancy no ill-spoken word no fortune teller no gypsy no witch can stand up to the power of god let me let you know today hallelujah that jesus has the power to break every shackle in your life Life. Today, do you need freedom? Today, do you want to have an experience like this man had? That on that very moment, his life was changed. Today, today, Jesus can set you free. All you need to do is accept him into your heart. Allow him into your situation and Jesus will make the difference. Today, if you want to be free, just repeat this prayer with me. Say, dear God, I want to be free. I know you have all power. And so right now, Jesus, I surrender my life to you. I confess and I repent of all my sins. I invite you to come into my heart, to come into my life. Be my Lord. And from today, God, I will walk in your freedom. Set me free from everything that is not of you. And I thank you, Lord, for already doing it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And amen.